gosh, this is so fun. Okay, so it's starting to go live. I can see that. But if you can hear me, um, I'd love to know your name, your pet's name, and what kind of animal you have with you, whether it's a dog or a cat or some other surprise. Hello. This is so fun. Hi, Sierra. So this is, this is my mom, and this is, her, this, is this your first Instagram live? It is. <laughs> this is her and Sunshine's um, first Instagram live. Your dog's name is Bella. That's so cute. Susie and their dog Tato is joining us. Chrissy and Maggie. So, <laughs> Escargot and Truffle are French Bulldogs. This is so cute. A Morky. Hi, Jesse. Oh, Hazel. I love all these names. Your dog name is Charlie. So, has anyone done meditation with their pets before? I'm wondering, or how many is this your first time? Oh, it just turned one. Happy birthday. <laughs> Zoe and Candy. <laughs> Oh, it says they can't see us. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Ah, breakthrough. So we actually had a little Wi-Fi problem at the house. We are quarantining. And so we came down to this beautiful park spot in the middle of, we're up in Ross in Marin. And um, so we're gonna wait just a few more minutes to get the meditation started. I love hearing your names and your pet names. Is there anyone here that has something other than a dog? Are there any cat lovers here? Rabbits? <laughs> Cute. Okay, thank you guys for telling me you couldn't see me. It was a little bit of a hustle to get the Wi-Fi going, so we are in it now. And I cannot wait to do this meditation. I think that not only do we deserve a good meditation, but our dogs deserve them as well. Sunny's into, Sunny's into it. How old is Sunshine? 12 and a half. He's 12 and a half. Oh, cute. Whitney and Nemo. <laughs> Ellington is the baby. This is so fun. It's so heartwarming. I wish we could all, well, one of these days we should all have a big um, in person doggy meditation. It's amazing actually how animals resonate with meditation. It's kind of a surprise. Some of them run around still, but you might see that even if you have a more wild or a younger animal, that they, that they get um, a little more calm as you get calm. Lisa and Bingo. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. Frankie's so into meditation that they're already napping. The dog. Oh, cute. <laughs> Aww. Charlotte and Levi. This is so much fun. Okay, we have one more minute to get started. San Diego needs a healthy spot. I like that idea. Kona and Linda. My doggies are Bella and Kiki. Aw, Allison and Jasper Lily. I love these <laughs> I love names. The name. Varissa and Paseo. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Twix is already napping too. See, as you guys get settled down into your space and you're comfy, your animals already feel it. Sierra and George. Cute. Webster's ready. Okay, guys, are we ready to do this? There's a Chloe and Nina, Heather and Buster and Rocky. <laughs> I really like I wish I could see all of your faces and all of your animals right now because it's just making me so happy even just seeing the names Angelique has a maybe a dog dog or a cat named Layla and actually my oldest daughter's name is Layla spelled just like yours So we have good taste. Okay guys, it's five o'clock. So let's get started. Um quick intro. My name is Julie Scon. I am a transformational life coach and as well as a meditation teacher, both privately and on Insight Timer, and I am a Reiki master. If you don't know much about Reiki, um, it actually, when you learn Reiki, 
certified one, you are taught, in most cases I teach, animal Reiki as well. So we're gonna go through a meditation and then we can touch on Reiki and I'm super happy to answer any of your questions. Um, before we begin, this meditation has an awesome sponsorship by Zeewee Pets. So I guess if you post a picture of yourself and your pet and you post it in the next 24 hours and you tag Healthy Spot, as well as Zeewee Pets, Z-I-W-I-P-E-T-S, you have a chance to win $100 of food and treats for your baby. And that winner will be chosen by tomorrow at 5.30. And in addition, if you RSVP'd through Eventbrite, which you can do up until 6 p.m. tonight, you will get $10 off of any $50 purchase. You'll also receive a tote, and you can use promo code W-F-H-Z-I-W-I -I at um, checkout and you get the discount today. So now that that's up there, I say we meditate. You guys ready? Um, meditating with dogs or cats is awesome because as you start to calm your energy down and getting more centered, your, anim your animal feels it as well. If this is your first time trying to meditate with your with your dog or cat, don't get nervous if they're running around, if they're barking, just let it be. This is for you. But what I think you'll probably see if they're not already calm and super into it and excited that you're just in one place, that they're gonna start getting closer and closer to you and just like soaking up the relaxing energy that um, you are about to bring into yourself and then emit. So I thought it might be appropriate and kind of, you know, the stressful situation that we are all feeling is to give ourselves as well as our pets a mindful meditative massage. I know I'd like one. Would you like one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so the goal in this is to, we're going to relax your whole body, but then you can also pay it forward. And if your animal is in front of you, you can give them massages as well. So let's do this. If you guys can get yourself in a really comfortable seated position, lying down is fine too, but ideally if you can get your pet, like grab their favorite blanket or a pillow or some of their snacks and get them in front of you, that way you can work on both yourself and your animal. So, let's take some deep breaths. Just let yourself start to feel centered into your space. Let your animal get centered. Start to feel calm. Take a deep breath. Let your air fill your lungs. Fill your body. And let it go. I'm going to start by bringing your awareness, bring your attention to the top of your head. We hold so much tension in this space as well as your animal. So as you breathe, just healing, beautiful breath into the top of your head, into your forehead, into your temples. You can take some time to even physically give yourself an amazing head massage. If you massage your head, you can reach out and massage your dog or your cat. Give them some like amazing loving you feel your th thoughts start to wander, just bring it back to your breath. And again, either you can rub, rub your own head, rub your pet's head, or just simply breathe in and feel yourself letting go of any tension. And on your next inhale, just really bring your awareness into your jaw. Our jaw, we hold so much tension and we don't even realize sometimes when we're clenching. So just really loosen your jaw. Massage each, each side of your cheeks if you'd like. Breathe your air into your jaw and just feel it relax. If you're ready and your pet is around you, you can reach out and do the same. Rub near their ears. They love that. Just keep 
breathing into your jaw, breathing into your head. Maybe even give yourself like an audible exhale. Just let it all go. In your next few inhales, you're gonna breathe, bring your air into your throat, into your neck. Maybe move your move your head around a little bit. Oh, it feels so good. As you roll your head around, you can reach out to your animal and give their neck a nice massage. And you know, animals know exactly what they like. <laughs> so if you find uh, your animal moving around and guiding you to massage a different part of their body, just of course, always feel free to do that. They will guide you. And please don't leave yourself out. Take your hands, rub your neck, get some of those knots. Again, just take some deep breaths and let it all out. All right, and let's move into your shoulders. Maybe squeeze them up and let them drop. Pull them around a little bit. Rub out some of your knots. the same for your pet. Rub their backs. And don't worry if your animals are moving around. They're going to come and get the attention that they want. Remember, this meditation is for you and for you to get calm. And if your dog or your cat wants that, they'll come and get it. And on your next inhale, I want you to breathe into your heart. If you'd like, you can put your hands over your heart space, and we're going to stay here for a little while. If it's possible, close your eyes. Take a deep breath into your heart. And I'm going to ask you a series of a few questions. And as I do, just continue to breathe. Sweet breaths. Inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, finish this sentence. I am. I am. Next inhale, finish this sentence. I am grateful for. And on your next inhale, finish this sentence. I am connected to. So from this heart space, this is a beautiful place to share the energy that you just created with your pet. So if they're around you, you can put your hands on them. You don't have to massage them, just put your hands on them or you can even hold it in their direction. Because if you've created this incredible space of calm and love, it's exactly what you are emitting and exactly what they are going to absorb. So just take some time to be in that zone and um, pass it along to your pets. And when you're ready, let's come back. We're gonna finish our um, body massage. So on your next inhale, I want you to 
drive your breath all the way down into your sacrum, into the, your lower spine. Really nice, fresh, beautiful breath in. Guide it all the way down into your lower back. This is this is your source of being grounded. This is where you are rooted. This is where you are connected. And in animals, their root chakra is is their primal chakra. So for for both of us, if that is out of whack, we feel out of whack. We feel unaligned. So even just sitting down for a few moments like we're doing and breathing into this space actually aligns all of your energy and brings you back to um, being centered. And while you're doing this, if you want to rub your hips, rub your thighs. Again, if your thoughts wander, just bring it back to your breathing. You can even move around. Let's take another deep breath in. Let it all out. going to bring your breath all the way into your feet. If you are a foot massage person, you're going to love this. I am. So if you can, give yourself an amazing foot massage right now. Access your pressure points. Keep your eyes closed and keep peacefully breathing. Just give yourself some good loving. Switch it up, make sure you get both feet. Perfect. Let's take a few more deep breaths here all together. Let it go. Deep inhale. Let it go. One more deep breath. Let it out. Let's rub our hands together. And again, if your dog or your cat or your pet is in front of you or you want to call them over right now, place your hands upon them and just send them your love. They might even see, either be super relaxed or feel the energy shift a little bit, but any time in the day that you want to create a little bit more calm with yourself or your pet, you can take a few moments, put your hand on your heart, breathe into it, let your thoughts just come and go, and then place your hands on your pet, and I um, would love to hear the experience. But in my experience, and I have a silver lab at home, she just resonates, and now she, she knows when it's meditation time. She sits down with me and she waits to, um, she waits to receive all of the goodness that's created from it. So thank you for that beautiful meditation. I, uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of time um, to answer some questions that were sent in before this live started and if you have any more feel free to ask me any questions I'll be reading them as we go um, like I said I'm a meditation teacher and I am a life transformational coach as well as a Reiki master and a lot of questions that I get are about Reiki and how they work on animals so I'm gonna share just a little bit about that um, Reiki has a, has a reputation for being a little woo-woo and I want to clarify that because Reiki is actually just this natural he healing method that has been around for centuries and it's universal life force. So we're all energy, science knows we're all energy and um, 
when you're able to create a certain frequency, animals and people relate to that. So if you under like I do a Reiki one certification all the way up to master, but if you um, learn the craft of Reiki, it takes it to another level, but you do not have to be certified in order to use Reiki for healing. So with Reiki, you can literally do what we just did. You rub your hands together and you have an intention for healing and for well-being. With your animal, if you know, say they have arthritis or they have an illness or a stomach ache or they're just old age and they need some extra loving, you can rub their hands together and you can put it on your animal with the intention of healing and they will receive it. If your dog is um, being active or it's an animal that doesn't quite want to receive it, just hold your palms open and often they come near whenever they want it and then they will walk away when they've had enough. As you know, animals are very intuitive and so they know when they want the healing and they know when they don't. Um, I am happy. Uh, feel free to email me. My email is Julie, J-U-L-A-I-E, at MyRitual, M-Y-R-T-U-E-L-L-E dot com. Um, with any questions, I'm happy to answer all of them. And I also do Reiki healing. Um, or you can follow me at Julie Scon at J-U-L-I-E-S-K-O-N. I wanted to say one more time what the awesome partnership and giveaway is with Healthy Spot for this meditation. It's sponsored by Ziwi Pets, that's Z-I-W-I Pets. Um, if you share a pic of you and your puppy or your pup doing this meditation in the next 24 hours, and you tag Healthy Spot as well as Ziwi Pets. And please tag me too, because I really want to see um, that, the behind the scenes action that I don't get to see in person. Again, that's at Julie Scon, J-U-L-I-E-S-K-O-N. And what you will you will be in the running to win a hundred dollars of Zwi foods and food and treats for your little munchkin. Um, and also, if you RSVP for this class either before it on Eventbrite or after, you will receive a special offer in your inbox. Use code WFHZIWI at checkout, and you will get ten dollars off your fifty dollar purchase, as well as a tote. Okay, on to um, some more questions. I love these. Um, how does meditation, actually, yeah, you can come in. My daughter, Nava, is going to join us now as well. She's been behind the scene action. Come here. Um, okay, so how does meditation benefit my pup? I touched on it a little bit, but um, meditation uh, changes your frequency. So. Before I learned how to meditate, I would wake up and I would run to the coffee machine. I'd run around my house. I would get my kids up, get them ready for school and rush out the door. And my dog would kind of be frantic. And when I started meditating, I wake up earlier. I have a moment in my bed where my dog sleeps. Yes, I love her. Um, and it's just her and I. She doesn't want to rush out of bed anymore. She sits there, she knows what's happening, she wants to absorb it, and she asks for it. And again, at the end of the day, we have the same routine. So it's, it's becomes a part of, just like people, it becomes a part of their life. And in fact, my meditation teacher is a man named David G. He's spectacular, if you don't know who he is. And he has this little, this little sweet dog named Peaches, who he brings everywhere with him and the dog meditates happily all day because he's one of those like hours and hours of day meditators. So I think um, as you practice it more, whether you're a beginner, beginner or progressed, I think you see that um, animals just gravitate towards it. It's really sweet. And of course they like when you're sitting in one position, right? Like if you're sitting somewhere, your animals are stoked. They don't have to chase you anymore. Um, okay, another good question. I have three cats. Should I do meditations with them individually or all together? I think when you meditate, you are going to attract what needs the meditation calmness as well. So um, no need to separate animals. I say pick a place in your house that's your special place and allow them to come. And it could actually just be a really fun exercise to see who what, which one of your animals likes it more, and is it always the same one or do more? Anyway, I'm curious. I have one pet, so I just know she loves it. Um, 
Would you recommend that I incorporate meditation with my pet on a regular basis? Absolutely. I recommend, in terms of meditation, a half an hour a day. Um, listen, it's okay if you don't get that much in, but if you can do half an hour or 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes later in the day, always include your pet. They're going to love it. Oh, what changes have you noticed in your pet since using Reiki? This is a great question. When I got into Reiki, I really had no idea what it was except for I received Reiki and I felt something different. And so I am a curious person and I dove in and I wanted to get certified and learn everything I could about it. So I went through one, two and became a master. And um, I had a puppy when I first started. And I started practicing in my house on myself and on friends and now on clients. And I noticed my dog Pacha, whenever I'm doing Reiki, gets as close as possible either to the Reiki table or if it's a friend and someone's like over on laying on the floor in a nice bed, she will come and literally wrap her head around them to get it. And that, and that way she's like really like soaking up all of this beautiful energy and then she'll leave when she's had enough. But most of the time, I think because the environment with Reiki is so peaceful, they just get the complete healing from it. So it's kind of like a domino effect, which is amazing. Do you agree, Nava? <laughs> Someone just said hi, Lynn. Oh, <laughs> it might be a different Lynn, but this is Lynn no. too. I'm not sure. That's so cute. Um, any Instagram mindful accounts you recommend to follow? This is a really good question too. Um, yes. So Unplug Meditation is uh, based in Santa Monica. I was actually certified through them. I really like following them, but I more like their app. That's a really good place to start. Um, also, Insight Timer. I have um, a course on Insight Timer, a 10-day course on rituals. Um, I also have some recorded meditations, but they have a gigantic library of free meditations. So it's sleep med meditations, music. It's like you, you will never get bored. So go to Insight Timer. That's an incredible place to tap into meditation. <laughs> What else do I really love right now? Um, David G, who is my meditation teacher, it's uh, D-A-V-I-D, I say J-I. Yeah, I see someone loves Insight Timer. Um, yeah, it's, it's an incredible app. I love David G. I love a woman named Camilla Sacradellera. She's an incredible meditation teacher. Other than that, I don't... Um, I don't know if I have any other ones to recommend. Those are kind of my favorite go-tos when it comes to meditation. Um, I would love, if there's any other questions, I would love to, I would love to answer them. Um, again, make sure you take your pictures of yourself and your pup doing this meditation, and please take myself. It's at Julie Scon, J-U-L-I-E-S-K-O-N. Take healthy spots as well as Ziwi Pets, Z-I-W-I-P-E-T-S, and, um, and you will be automatically entered to win a $100 gift certificate. Someone just asked about Headspace. I'm glad you actually asked that because I have not dove in too deep into Headspace, but I have heard great things. So if you are into Headspace, I would like to know what you think. Yes, my Instagram account is at um, you know what, I'll type it in for you. At Julie, at J-U-L-I-E-S-K-O-N. And feel free to message me on there. You can also email me at Julie at MyRitual. That's M-Y-R-I-T-U-E-L-L-E dot com. That's where I do um, private meditations, Reiki, and happy to um, answer anything. Uh, you missed a session, is there, yes, this will be saved on Healthy Spot for the next 24 hours, so you can watch it at any time. Yes, oh no, J-U-L-I-E, I'm gonna type it in for you right now. There we go. I'm curious, is there anyone on here like that doesn't have a dog or cat, are there other animals? have people in there. <laughs> Maybe a snake, she said. I think that people 
so sweet. All right, guys. So I'm gonna hop off. I have another um, another daughter to go take care of. But this has been so much fun. Um, I love animal meditation. I think it brings us closer to our to our little loves. And um, I'm excited to answer any questions you guys have. And good luck on the contest. Again, you can use the promo code WFHZIWI at checkout, and you can receive. Um, your discount today. So thank you everyone so much. This has been so much fun. I hope to do it again with you sometime when you can meet my Silver Lab Pacha at that time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, makes me so happy. <laughs> Look at all the cute names. Namaste everyone. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay well. And sooner than we know it, we'll be meditating together in person with our pets. <laughs> okay.